What's going on guys? It's Crazy Cartoons. Um, coming at you here with a uh, tutorial on how to get rid of this notorious black screen when recording in Fraps for your games or other desktop recording things. So here we have Fraps. It's super easy. Um, first thing you want to do is make sure that you have this checked. Um, that is the way you record the desktop. Straight up, if that's not checked, um, then that's probably why in the first place it's not working. If it is checked and it isn't and you record it and it's a black screen, then we have other issues. Um, I like to start at min minimized because it just kind of gets rid of uh, the hassle of trying to, I don't know, I just like doing that. Uh, FPS, uh, don't worry about benchmarking. Um, there's no reason you need to be messing with that. Um, really, you don't need to worry about anything over here except for your overlay height. Excuse me, your overlay hotkey. Uh, right now, mine is hidden, but if I hit F12, it'll appear on the top left. I hit it again, 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 and then it disappears in different places, or appears in different places, and then disappears eventually. So, next, moving out of movies, um, make sure it's set to 30 frames per second or 29.97, full size. Uh, I use the equal sign. I don't know. I always have. Uh, you guys can probably figure this out. Um, I like to lock the frame weight. A frame with a frame rate while recording uh, um, uh, I don't know I just do that it helps um, I record the sound coming from my computer so this is what that means uh, multi-channel would mean something like if you wanted to record uh, like iTunes music coming out and then someone speaking on Spotify uh, multi-channel pretty much and so uh, that's all the settings for fraps um, now what you're going to need to do is you're going to uh, go to or you're gonna right click so this is the first solution the first solution is you're gonna right click and click personalization or personalize so right click personalize again um, you're going to go to where it says arrow themes um, if you notice it says monitor arrow desktop so this is one of the possible solutions this one didn't work for me actually um, but it I've heard it works for some people so your first solution is to click on one of these um, mine default really is just set to this one and I like it um, it's nice and clean um, but yeah that's the first solution to click one of these I suggest the Windows 7 one but if you want to choose one of these other ones I really don't think this one's gonna work for you um, but just in case it does I wanted to show you guys so the second one and this is the one that really works well you're going to want to go to control panel, uh, uninstall a program, um, and view installed updates. Now, I know this looks kind of malicious. Um, I promise you it is completely safe. Um, I have watched numerous tutorials on what this update is, and it is nothing super important. Um, I promise you it's not. you're not even going to notice it's gone, except for giving you some positives that uh, Fraps now works. So, trust me, I've seen in the comments of different videos that this works, this is the solution, and I'm going to show you now what you're going to do. So, if you saw, you go to Installed Updates, so if we go back, state, uh, we go back a step, go to View Installed Updates, I think that's what I said. <laughs> you're going to click right here to search a specific one. I will put the um, specific code, I guess it's code, the title in the description below and I'll and it's gonna be up on the screen uh, also um, but it is going to be KB2670838 um, I do not have it because I deleted it so that I could <laughs> make this video because it wasn't working for me so um, yeah so it, I, I promise you this looks bad I know but right here it'll show up um, on your thing you're gonna click it so you, I'll just show you on a different one. Uh, you would click it and push uninstall and then follow the prompts. Um, it takes a good chunk of time. It took me about eight or nine, nine, ten minutes. I don't know. Um, but afterwards, I did have to restart my computer um, and everything works the same. So before you start, I suggest keeping everything closed so you don't have to go through closing everything and worrying about that. So again, you type this code in click on it and push uninstall right here and then you follow the instructions and you should be good to go uh, once you restart your computer to give it a test um, 
open up for apps make sure this is checked go to F fps click that and this number up here should actually be yellow and that's hinting that it is ready to go and um that you're going to be ready to record so hope you guys enjoy this tutorial um if it helped you out leave a comment below so that other people will know that it actually works um if this video helped you out also if you could leave a like that would really help my channel out um so yeah uh peace out and subscribe i suppose if you liked it yes goodbye